This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are on a pretty big job down in Archdale. So let's take a look. First thing we've got here is all this dirt in the parking lot. And what happens is you get like a foot of water in through here. So the problem here is this swale fills up and the water can't escape fast enough. So take a look at the bottom here. You can see this is all dry. And let me speed up a little bit. So right here it's wet. And so that's telling us that this is a low point here and this is higher over here. And so that's just going to create back pressure for the, the water to escape out of here. So I was climbing around down in here a little bit. And what I'm, you can see there is water in here. So what I'm going to do is blow all this out, blow all this out, and drop this ditch down a little bit. And so that's the first part of this project. We got five little pieces to this project here in this apartment complex. So I've got the big excavator here. We're going to put the dirt that comes out in the back of the old dump truck and move it to a different part of the site. And we got the little bobcat here as well. I was talking to one of the residents out here while we were working and they were kind enough to send me this footage of them out playing in the puddle during the last big rain. Here you can see I'm in this the outfall area where it heads down to the creek. I've got the grading bucket for the big excavator here. And the first order of business is just to clean out the ditch going to the creek. And some of these riprap rocks I want to save, so I'm just piling them over here off to the side for to be used later. And I brought a bunch of help with me, but I told everybody, I was like, you know, I'm going to be pretty much digging on this trench with the big excavator here. so. You know, don't feel like you all have to be busy all day long because it's just going to be me digging for a while on this job.
once I got that ditch opened up a little bit, they were down there trying to clean out some of that riprap. And so they were throwing it over there where I could reach it with the excavator. And while they were doing that, I started blowing out the rest of this big bank here. And you can just barely see the old dump truck there off to the right. And we start piling and loading it up. I've been working on this ditch for maybe about 45 minutes, maybe half an hour or so. And I wanted to show you really quickly what's happening. So now that we've got this dug down where it's supposed to be, it is flowing. So look at all that water that's flowing through there. And the guys are over in here working on it too, making sure it's going to reach the creek. As long as it gets down into here, this is way lower, so this will, I mean, this whole thing can fill up. So we're good. I mean, it's looking really good. Yeah, it's about to make contact yeah, with contact the three, two, yep. one. <laughs> Boom! Contact! <laughs> Woo! It's got a place to flow. So you're saying water doesn't want to flow uphill? It does not. Water <laughs> wants to flow downhill. It Imagine that. Down, it will find a way. Oh. If you let it. Okay. So, I've almost got a feeling that all that riprap is not going to go back in here. That whole pile. Unless you want to armor the sides. I don't think we do. Okay. As you just saw, looking at that creek, we did not put any riprap back in there. Because that would have just interfered with our the flow. But in the main part of the swale here, what we're doing is we're, we're pulling the riprap out setting it off to the side and then we're going to dig out the swale and then put the rip rack back in and so that's how we're going to achieve dropping our the elevation down now that we've got the rip wrap out of the way i'm going in for the dirt so i'm digging this dirt out loading it in the back of the dump truck and then we're going to move that to a different place on the same site well yeah, whatever works we got our first load of dirt out of here. Oh yeah. Although it was not part of the job, since we had the mini skid here, we went ahead and got all this dirt and muck cleaned up from the parking lot while we were here. All right, I've got this pretty well dug out at the outfall here. So I think what I want to do now, the problem here is we have to separate out the riprap from the dirt. So I think I'm going to bring the excavator over here, pull the riprap back this way, and then get the dump truck back in here and try to dig out the dirt. And then hopefully I can pull the riprap back in. So the whole reason this is not flowing is because it's, it's not falling correctly. And look at how deep we are over here. Now. My fixed point here was pretty much the level of the creek. So the creek is quite a bit lower over here. And so we just dug all this out of here. We've also got this culvert. We got to get this all uncovered again. But look at the look at the fall we've got now. So now all we need to do is, is link this, the height of this, over to our, our inlet over there. And that's going to make this thing flow really well. It's all, I mean, it's already flowing. Look at this. So anybody can line a, a channel with riprap, but that doesn't mean it's going to flow right. It's got to be falling correctly.
wanted to show you really quickly there's a crayfish living in here maybe we should take him down there and if I was out here doing a wetland survey and I sampled a crayfish the state of North Carolina would consider this a permanent stream so I don't necessarily agree with that but uh, this was definitely holding a lot of water through here So let me show you what happened here. Hopefully you can see this wire. This was a splice. So this was already damaged at one point. And what happened, I didn't actually hit this. When I was digging down, I must have moved some rocks around somehow and the splice pulled out. So there it is over there. right here so the splice pulled out and this building's dead now so what the cable guys are going to do they're going to put a new pedestal right here and a new pedestal right there so this doesn't happen again Just digging is hard work. Where's the excavator? All right, we just got this main wire exposed on this side. So they're gonna put a pedestal right there and a pedestal right here. And somebody's on his way from the shop with a piece of conduit. We're gonna lay the conduit in there and they're gonna get a temporary going to get everybody back up and running. So we can finish digging that little wire right there is dead now we can dig it all up and uh, put the conduit in cover the conduit back up and we'll be in good shape We've got another part of the job here at the apartment complex and the dirt's gonna be going over there. So we're gonna repurpose the dirt that's coming out of here. So let me show you that really quickly. I'm over here at another part of the job where we're supposed to be delivering the dirt and the siding people were supposed to move this stuff out of the way. So the roofing people have this forklift here and they're coming over here to help me out. So it's been a little bit frustrating trying to get this done. Three or four people have told them to do it and they haven't done it. So we've been piling dirt over there. So now we got to move it again. The dirt's got to go in right here to fill in all this. I had called 811 like I do for all the jobs, but it was almost impossible to get them to mark everything because we were working all over this apartment complex. I didn't know unit numbers and all that kind of stuff. And so whenever Spectrum showed up and I realized that I had broken a line, 
I said, you know, what do you guys need me to do? What do you need me to dig? That kind of thing. And so just a willingness to help out if you do break a line goes a, a long, long way. And when they decided they wanted to put this conduit in, the fact that they could get me to dig it, they were super happy about that. And so we we offered to dig the, the, the trench for the conduit. They brought in the conduit, did the splices, and everybody was back up and running in no time. Okay, I think I'm finished digging this thing out. So you can see that now we're quite a bit lower than the, than the parking lot here. So there's our new channel. And I don't think I want to put a bunch of riprap in here to slow the water back down. I think I want to haul a lot of this riprap out of here. So. That was a little bit different than what I had planned to do, but after looking at this and thinking about it for a minute, I just don't think I want to just pile a bunch of riprap back in here. I want to keep this channel open. So we also have power over here. This is power going from one building to the next. And I talked to the property manager. He said it's that little box right there and it's the outdoor lighting. So this doesn't really want to go down too much. So we're going to have to try to maybe hand place some riprap on this and uh, try to babysit that a little bit. We didn't cut it or break it. There's a coupling right here that cracked. So we tested it. It's hot. Luckily we didn't break it. Jeremy and Ronald are getting that conduit in that the cable people left for us. So that'll be done. They were really happy about that. We are finished with the first part of this job. So this is item one of five. So here's our new swale. We had five dump trucks of dirt and mud and muck that came out of here. And so we dug it down quite a bit and put the riprap back in there. So there's a ton of water in here too. 
and this will eventually fill in and make itself a little channel here. You can see all the riprap's all muddy. We need a good rain to get this washed in a little bit. But the point is, it's now flowing like mad. So, none of this was flowing earlier today. So we've got this flowing here. And Jeremy dug this culvert all out and he said there was a massive river that came out of it and so we didn't catch it on film though but you can see where it blew all this debris out and so this was part of the deal in my quote I said I was gonna dig this all out and get this flowing correctly as well so the guys dug this out by hand pretty much now you have water flowing through here and the riprap just couldn't go back in here because it would have done the same thing it did before. So just throwing riprap in a channel is not calling it a drainage solution. So now this thing is actually running where it should be. A bunch of the extra riprap ended up up here on this, trying to armor this a little bit. Really just trying to put it somewhere. And then the dump truck had a load of riprap that went back. So we will be back here. And then of course we got our temporary line or the cable guys got their temporary line and we got the conduit in here so we had called 811 but we were out here a little bit early and we didn't cut the line but we bumped the line and that was enough to pull it out of the splice so anytime you hit a cable like that when the cable guys come out here to fix it make sure you help out so i was here asking them what they needed if i could do anything the supervisor was like You've been out here helping us, so I'm not going to worry about this. He said, you're going you're gonna to dig this conduit in here for us. It's going to save us a ton of work, a ton of trouble. So he said, you know, no worries about that. So if, if you do hit a utility, stick around. Try to be super helpful. Don't be a, a jerk about it. And usually they're pretty cool about it. So luckily, he didn't charge us, and we tried to do a good job getting that, that conduit in. So he's going to put a pedestal here and a pedestal here and then the conduit will be underneath the channel here. So we'll be back tomorrow for item number two. I'm back out here, it's been a few weeks and it's finally raining. So check out what the culvert's doing. The culvert's taking water like it's supposed to. And there's no standing water like there was before. And this guy's taking water like it's supposed to. Oh, they still haven't taken and redone that. That's okay, it's working. Okay, well that's good news. That's good, that one's fixed. 